Hey everyone, Shane here, leadtrailer.com. Today I have a 2021 Chevrolet Colorado. I'm gonna walk you how to install the e-trailer, class three trailer at receiver. So what our hitch looks like when it's installed, cross tube is pretty much hidden behind the bumper. So all we can see is our receiver tube and it maintains a nice clean look on the vehicle. Steel construction, it's gonna have a triple carbide black powder coat finish. So it's gonna hold really well against rust and corrosion. This is gonna be designed for towing heavy loads. We're going to have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, so it's going to work really well for a lot of different hitch mount accessories. Maybe you have some bikes and you're like our customer here has a tonneau cover. You put the bikes inside, you're going to take up a lot of room. You're not going to be able to cover everything else you may be taking on your trip. Adding a hitch on like this, you can put a bike rack back here, keep everything you need to keep dry underneath your cover. Cargo carrier, maybe you want to bring some extra stuff with you. Cargo carrier is going to give you that extra space needed. Maybe you want to pull a trailer. This hitch is going to allow you to do all of those. As I mentioned, two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, reinforced collar, give us a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole, 5 eighths inch, inch in diameter. It's going to take a standard 5 eighths hitch pin. Pin and clip does not come on the hitch, however, they can be found here at E-Trailer as well. Plate style safety chain loops, you see very large openings. So if we have a trailer that's got some bigger size safety chain hooks, we know it's going to be able to handle it. Now I'm going to give you a few measurements and weight capacities to help you when deciding on any of those hitch mount accessories. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper, we're looking at about three inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories like your bike racks and cargo carriers that are going to fold up. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube, we're looking at about 18 inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may hang a little bit lower and uh, may need a little bit more ground clearance. As far as our weight capacities go, we're gonna have an 800 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So whether you're putting a cargo carrier on, bike racks, or you're hauling that heavier trailer, make sure you're not exceeding that. We're gonna have an 8,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is a trailer plus the load included. Can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight's gonna go up to 1,000 pounds. Trailer weight's gonna go up to 10,000 pounds. Always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're going to go with the lowest number between the vehicle and what the hitch can handle. Now we've gone over some of the features to walk through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we need to remove any wires that are connected to our bumper. We'll have two plugs right up here. They're both going to have a red lock tab on them. You're going to push that tab back. Then you're going to push this black tab to disconnect. You'll have another one here. Once you get those two off, we're going to follow our wires over to our driver's side. This main one runs right up to this plug. We're going to take a trim panel tool or a flathead screwdriver. We're going to pop this fastener off our frame rail. We're going to come up to this plug. Pull that red tab down. And again, push and separate the two plugs. Sometimes these bigger ones can get quite a bit of dust and stuff in them, so they can be a little bit difficult to get off. We're going to come to each side of our frame rail. You're going to have a bolt here and a bolt here. Bolt here and bolt here. We're going to take one of these completely out, one of these and one of these completely out. We're going to loosen one of these to where we can hand thread it back in and then one of these. That way when we're doing the other side, this doesn't fall off and our bumper doesn't just fall off. 13 16 socket. Right in the center, we're going to take a half inch socket and we're going to remove these two bolts. Oh, the next set of hands. 
we'll take the side bolts out. We'll slide our bumper out and set it aside. Then we'll come back and remove the last two bolts for our receiver. We'll slide it off. Once you have your bumper removed in your receiver, we're gonna come back and we're gonna lower our spare tire so we have access to the two bolts right here. Half inch socket, we're gonna remove those two bolts and then remove this plate. Raise your hitch up into place. We're gonna take our factory hardware. We're gonna install it in the bottom two holes first. We'll get one on each side. It'll hold our hitch up in place while we install the remaining hardware as well as our rear bumper. Once you get your hitch installed, go ahead and reinstall your bumper. Get these bolts at least halfway in. Once you get those halfway in, we're gonna come back and we're gonna tighten and then torque these to the specification and the instructions. Once you have your hardware for your bumper tightened down, which is the two on the side of the frame rails, go ahead and torque those to the specification and the instructions. Don't forget to plug in any wiring that you disconnected to remove the bumper and you're ready to go. It's gonna do it for look at and installation on the e-trailer Class 3, trailer hitch receiver on a 2021 Chevrolet Colorado.